Federal money accepted tonight could soon help protect a valuable Door County resource. The city of Sturgeon Bay received more than a half a million dollars from the Department of Homeland Security. Fox 11's Cameron Clark has the story. It's emptying out for the year at Center Point Marina, but come summertime, there's a lot of money sitting in the 120 boat slips. The average cost of a boat in our marina is probably equivalent or, or higher than the average home cost of a home in Sturgeon Bay. You know, you're looking at a couple hundred thousand dollars. Add that to shipbuilding and being a port stop for cruise ships and the waterfront. It's a very important part of our economy. Means millions of dollars for Sturgeon Bay. The big threat, especially with our proximity to uh, Canada, is homeland security. Uh, that's another consideration. That combination led the police and fire departments to apply for and get a $650,000 federal grant, the majority to be used for an 18-camera security system along the port, monitored by the police department. Over in Marinette, they already have a system like this in place in their harbor, and uh, we went over to Marinette, we took a look at what they had, and uh, we decided, gee, this would really work well for us in Sturgeon Bay as well. The rest would be used for a dive team and fire boat which officials say is a needed investment for all the on-water assets. Right now, the city has one combined police and fire boat, it says, with very limited firefighting capabilities. It would be enough to maybe protect somebody long, long enough to get them off, uh, but we would never be able to put out a boat fire with our current equipment. The purchase would be entirely funded by the grant, and the city says boat maintenance costs end up being minimal to taxpayers. On land, we have the proper equipment, and when you have an, uh, an economy such as ours where you know, the w recreational use of the water is very important. I think you need to have that service on the water, too. I hope it will help keep an important part of the city's economy afloat. In Sturgeon Bay, Cameron Clark, Fox 11 News. The Sturgeon Bay City Council tonight unanimously voted to accept the federal grant.